Okay, it's time for a brutally honest assessment of my new fume hood. Um, the good, it, it works. It keeps the fumes out of my face. It works pretty darn well for that. Um, it's got a few issues. I keep popping the circuit breaker on this uh, outlet strip. It's an old outlet strip. I think the circuit breaker is on its way out. So I will probably replace this outlet strip with a new one. But that's pretty minor. Um, there is another problem, though. I am not quite sure how to fix. When I'm boiling stuff in here, I'm getting a lot of condensation up in the fan. And it's dripping back down all over everything. You can see the line here where it's been dripping off the edge of the fan. It's even been dripping into the edge of my catch pan there. And it's nasty stuff, too. It's, you know, basically whatever I'm boiling off is, is condensing up there and running back down. So I'm not quite sure how to fix that. Other than keeping stuff out of the way of where it's going to drip. I'll, I'll have to give that some thought. So it's, it's, it's not without its warts. It's nice. I, I've, I've used it heavily today. I've dissolved a lot of stuff. There's been a lot of hydrogen chloride. There's been a lot of nitric acid. There's been a lot of sulfur dioxide. And all of it's been caught by the fume hood. And, you know, it hasn't been going in my lungs or in my face. But, uh, yeah, there's a few issues, too. I don't know what I'm going to do about that condensation problem. Probably rot out the, the metal fan pretty quickly, too, I imagine. So I have to give that some thought. So it, it works. It works for its intended purpose. It just has a few issues. Maybe, maybe what I should have done, and what I could still do, is mount the fan on either the side or on the back. That way condensation wouldn't run into the box from the fan, like it is being mounted on top. So that may be an option. I could just relocate where the fan is mounted. And then um, have a hole in the housing of the fan so that condensation could run to the outside and have a little something to catch it. So that's, that's something to think about. I may end up doing that. We'll see. On the whole, though, I'm very happy with it. It works quite well. And it's saving my lungs. I've done. I've been out here all day today working in this thing, um, precipitating gold from uh, IC chips. I processed all of my old gold filters today. I incinerated them, dissolved them in aqua regia, precipitated the gold out, redissolved it, and I'm going to re-precipitate it over here. So, you know, I've got I've got a couple of different projects going. I've got some I've got some connectors in there that I'm working on. Some gold pin connectors. I, I've got I've got some other stuff going on over here. Just I've got all kinds of projects going on, and it's nice. The the fume hood is working great for its intended purpose. If I can just uh, fix the condensation problem and get a new outlet strip, it's going to be a wonderful thing. But it's already saving my lungs, saving my eyes, saving my skin. So that's what it was intended for. The other stuff's minor. But as you know, this brutally honest assessment, it's, uh, it's not perfect. It's got some issues. I'll just have to work on fixing them. Okay, here's an update. The segment I shot yesterday about all the condensation was on a very humid day. It was raining. It had been raining for three days straight. The humidity was 100%, and there was a lot of condensation coming out of the fan. Now, today's a different story. It's been sunny and warm and dry, and I've been using this thing pretty much all day again today, and I've seen hardly a drip of condensation. So it's not as bad as I thought yesterday, but I think I will still move the fan. And I think the most logical place for it's on the back. So when I get a chance, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna relocate the fan to the back of the box. And uh, hopefully that will eliminate the condensation drips going into the box. 
So when I get a chance, I'll do that, and then uh, that should solve one of its big problems. Okay, those of you who told me the aluminum duct wasn't going to work, you were right. I knew you were right. I knew the aluminum duct wasn't going to work for long. But it was the only duct I could find locally. I looked everywhere. I called around. People only had aluminum duct. So I had to order some online. I was hoping it would last a month or two. But no. It rotted out in a little over a week. So I was going to patch it, but every time I touched it, it just fell apart worse. So fortunately, the new duct work has arrived. It's PVC flex duct. I haven't quite decided how I'm going to run it yet. I don't know if I'm going to run it up and make a stack up above like I did before. Because <clears throat> sometimes, depending on how the wind blew, I would still get, you know, a little whiff of this stuff. And most of what are the most of the gases I'm generating are heavier than air, so maybe I should just run it down into the corner of the corner of the yard or something and let it dissipate at ground level. So I maybe I'll try that and we'll see how that goes. I'll let you know. But I've got new ductwork and um, when I get a chance, when I don't have a project going on and uh I've always seemed to have two or three projects going on, but sometimes when I don't have a project going on, I'm going to move the fan to the back of the box so that uh, on humid days I don't have a problem with the condensation dripping into the box. And it does only seem to be on humid days. Um, you had three days straight where it was just raining and raining and raining and wouldn't quit. And uh, the, the, the condensation was terrible and it was dripping inside the box really badly. Since then, it really hasn't been an issue. But this is Florida. It's going to be humid. So I think I will, when I get a chance, move the fan to the back of the box, plug the hole in the top of the box, and uh, hopefully that will eliminate the issue with the condensation running into the box. Condensation will still run out of the fan housing and probably down the back of the box, but maybe I can figure out a way to catch it. We'll see. Thanks for watching.